What's up, what's going on people of YouTube? It's your boy M. Lee on the films, aka the Hobby Collector, here to give you guys a little inside look breakdown of my plans for these uh, blah, 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 my plans for 2019 cosplay movie. Um, the best one I did so far was my 2016. I'm still trying to outbeat that bad boy as far as views, as far as comments and people posting it on their website and things of that nature. It was the best video of that year from what I was told and you know, just like I said from the views and everything. If you count all the cosplay videos I did, uh, and add all those videos combined that video still got more views than all the other ones combined So as far as my plans for this year, um, I'm kind of behind schedule Because um, what I want right now is Wednesday and it's gonna be my first time going to preview night and I'm doing that tonight So um, I'm gonna be filming up there So I might add some footage with this video and go ahead and put all that inside one video and stuff like that But um, so one of my plans, uh, I don't know if I'm still gonna do it but I kind of do want to. I've been thinking about it all year, last year. But um, I want to buy about at least 100 to 50 to 100 USB flash drives to put my old Comic Con cosplay videos onto that, and then take those onto you know my little business card. So instead of just hand, handing people a simple card, they have the card and you know a little preview of what they going you know what they in for. So another thing I'm gonna do this year, which is kind of new, I'm gonna have my son film me filming people you know getting the behind the scenes because a lot of people like my behind the scenes videos and stuff like that so he's gonna be filming with the uh nikon p900 getting some behind the scene footage even getting some you know footage to add to the actual cosplay movie so this is gonna be the uh, b camera and the c100 which i'm using to film myself on right now it's gonna be the a camera so yeah i can't wait to get some crazy zoom shots with this too zooming all the way in getting some you know ridiculous shots and stuff and this does some pretty decent slow motion and it looks pretty decent in the daylight so i was surprised about that you know um as far as this cage and rig i'm gonna take that off this camera i'm gonna use this handle on my c100 if you guys if you guys are my subscribers you already know i made a video showing this on my c100 and you know me holding it with two handles so when i'm running and gunning at comic con i'm used it like that and i'm also you know put a quick release plate on this so I can swap that out from using it like that and then using it on my shoulder rig right here you know so bam take it off that use it on this take it off that use it on this you know whenever I want to you know get some shoulder shots um, as far as my view um, I'm happy as far as my upgrade compared to last year and all the other years, I had this screen for about six, seven years. I was looking at my, I was going through my uh, my YouTube videos and I, I was blown away by how long I had this screen. So I had this screen for a very long time. It still works. I'm trying to sell it for about 60 bucks. I, I mean, I ain't really trying to get that much for it. I bought it for like almost 200 bucks uh, a long time ago. But yeah, man. Um, but it's just bulky in the way, too thick. If you look at the differences compared to my field world monitor, which I did a review on. The screen is so clear and it's big enough. You know, you don't really need nothing, especially when it's right there in your face. You got the shoulder rig on your shoulder. Are you running and gunning? You don't really need nothing super big and stuff like that. So, and how crisp it is, it's like night and day compared to the screen. I can see it at different angles. With this one, you gotta be right straight on or a tiny bit off to the side. The colors was nowhere near accurate up on here. You know, I had a hard time trying to, you know, get the exposure right this sees way more accurate of what the camera sees so that's what i need and you know when i'm getting those shots and seeing how good it looks and stuff like that before i even start editing i'm gonna be you know already getting myself excited you know then the big difference is my workflow compared to this screen i had to unscrew this back off and i mentioned this inside the review of this monitor i had to unscrew the back off slide this off take the battery out plug another battery in i had to set all my gear down just to do all that and it's just it was just a nuisance with this it's just bam slide the battery up i got one right here you know slide the battery on slide another one in when it when it's dead and then on top of that this lasts way longer than this this only i mean yeah um, it, my workflow gonna be way better you know when it comes to that and that's the number one thing i used to always struggle on i used to always constantly have to turn off this screen so i can reserve battery like you know what i'm saying like constantly with this i can just lead this on if i really want to super lightweight so it's lightweight on my arms you know what i'm saying it's a workout every year at comic con when i'm walking around filming like you know uh y'all be saying i mean if people be running into me and stuff like that they be saying all the gear I, I mean, i'll be having a whole lot of gear but it's just you know it's enough you got the c100 i'm gonna have a light normally the last few years i haven't used the camera light because i you know 
haven't really been caring to use one. But, you know, I want to get some fill light this time. I want to get some real good magical shots. So I want to get, you know, some real good fill light on some shots, especially when, you know, I'm doing some shots later on in the evening time. My, my outdoor cosplay shots be the best shots. And if you guys been noticing my little uh, editing flow, I always capture a lot of shots inside and outside. But when I edit, I, I start the video off, off inside. And then I move from the convention floor to the middle part right before you get outside i do all i get i put all that footage inside one little segment and stuff like that and then all the segments from outside of comic con i would add i say that for last because those normally be the best looking shots on to some other gear i am going to bring my canon 70d but not going to really take that many pictures with it um sigma uh 17 uh, 18 to 35 millimeter f 1.8 art lens speaking of that lens this is going to be my first comic con with that lens i was hoping to have this lens last year you know for comic con but i couldn't get my hands on it this time i got it i own it you know what i'm saying and i can't wait to film with it with that 1.8 and then you get the wide angle if you want to as well you know and then you can you know get the option of 35 millimeter 20 millimeter you know what i'm saying all that f 1.8 with that blurry background and this lens is known to be sharp but just no stabilizer hey i can work with it and then of course my 70 to 200 this lens if y'all see some shots inside my you know cosplay videos and the shots just look so freaking crisp and like just so good it's because of this lens right man it's still my favorite lens i know there's other zoom lens lenses that's better than this especially cinema lenses but the 70 to 200 you know uh canon f4l lens is this damn thing is so damn smooth and just the price you get the price you pay for the quality you get out of pictures and video with this lens is just ridiculous. Another thing about this lens that's so popular, especially for video, is how smooth the zoom lens is. We're talking about going from 70 to 200. This is as smooth or smoother than some focus rings I use. In fact, it's smoother than the focus ring that's on here. The focus ring on here is kind of give more drag, more, uh, you know, this is actually way smoother. So. You get none of that that bump when you when you zoom in or zoom out like that little jump. It just goes real smooth all the way through. Just boom. That man, I'm telling you, anybody that films know like when you don't when you're watching movies and stuff, you don't really think about all the stuff that people got to go go through to get certain shots that you just look over. Like you like, oh, like you don't even give it a second thought when you see certain shots. And the last piece to my gear. Well, that's not the last piece to my gear. I got a lot of gear I'm bringing, but a water backpack, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is very needed. This is the one where it insulates your back as well. So it has like breathable mesh right here. So you can feel the coolness on your back from the cool, uh, you know, water. And then it has like the little, um, you can put this in the freezer because it's like an ice pack as well. So, and then you fill it up with water, ice or whatever. And then, you know, got your little, um, and then you got your little straw right here. This plugs, not plugs, but you know, well, pretty much plugs in. And then it has like this little protective, not really protective, but it's like a little uh, thermal, you know, um, insulator pretty much. So when the sun is beaming down, your water that's still left inside here doesn't get all hot. It still stays real nice and cool, you know? So yeah, man, you gotta stay hydrated because there's a lot of walking around at Comic-Con and you know, people don't be understanding how important important water is. Y'all be drinking all that soda and Slurpees and all kind of stuff. Water keep your muscles and keep everything. You know, it's like an oil oil inside a car. You know, keep everything hydrated and, and flowing pretty good. You know, flowing real good. So you see, I got my Comic Con badge already on. Staff. Um, this year, uh, I won't be doing that that much customer service behind the desk. Learn, normally, I work behind the customer service desk in front of ballroom 20 for about an hour each day. We all got to volunteer, you know, if we, you know, staff. But um, this time, I told them I'm not going to be able to, uh, due to my work schedule and due to just me filming up at, I'm trying to, man, I'm trying to have an incredible ass video. Y'all think I'm playing. But due to me filming, you know, this cosplay movie and stuff, you know, I told them I'm not going to really be able to, you know, have time to go up there and you know stop what i'm doing and do all that and stuff like that but you know of course saturday i am because i work behind i work backstage as a uh, 
as a uh, heavy lifter, you know, for the costumes and stuff like that. And I got to shot this out again, shot my, you know, I got to, you know, toot my own horn again, again, you know what I'm saying, from last year. If you guys was there and you seen, you know, the girl fall, and she was pretty tall too, and she was thick, and had a big old set of armor on, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no small woman, you know what I'm saying? But she had fell, and that was me that ran out there and picked her up. Everybody was like talking about that for a long time. So, you know what I'm saying? That was a heroic uh, moment. I felt good. I don't know where the hell that strength came from. I just went out there. If you was, if somebody recorded that, you could see three dudes trying to lift this woman up. And when I went up there, I'm like, I don't know how I'm about to pick her up. But when I reached up and I kind of got my legs set, I'm like, okay, yeah, I got her. Boom, picked her up. I carried her all the way through the back uh, stage, through the back corridors and stuff like that, all the way to the little medical little area. That's that Black Panther strength, you know what I'm saying? That came out. But. Yeah, man, that's why I be staying working out, you know what I'm saying? You never know what you gotta, you know, do. I be taking any job I have, I take it serious. So, you know, back there, you gotta, you know, know what you're doing. You can't be all starstruck because the doobie celebrities that be walking back there, you know, that's where they have to walk at because there's no, you know, they get different places throughout Comic-Con or else they be getting stopped every five steps. So, so yeah, man, your boy doing big things. Staff at Comic-Con, manager at Walmart, you know what I'm saying? Like, doing big things. So somehow, besides my hardcore fans, I'm still slept on, you know what I'm saying? I should be a big-ass YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? I should be, you know, having a huge-ass following. But it's all good. It's all gravy in the Navy, baby. But anyways, if you're going to Comic-Con, I didn't mean to make this video long, but it was a decent video. touched on a lot as far as what I'm doing with my project and stuff like that. But um, if you're going to Comic-Con, you're going, you, you're going to be dressed up. Trust me, you're going to run into me. I'll be everywhere. Oh, yeah, and then also I'll be handing out uh, the Masquerade tickets, too, uh, volunteering doing that on Saturday. So... You know, be able to shout out to your boy if you want to, you know, say what's up. Um, tell me, man, I'm going to be everywhere doing big things, hollering at some of these damn producers. You know what I'm saying? Somebody already tried to, you know, give me some money. I think I already passed up. A, I think I passed up a good opportunity to meet Chris Brown and get, get connected. But this dude was trying to get me to just drop everything and just go. That's what people people in L.A. think that you can just drop everything and just go. Like, I ain't about to do that. He was trying to plan on dropping me some bands. But I ain't like I'm I ain't about to just hop, skip and jump without, you know, giving it some thought. He didn't want me to give it no thought. He wanted just, you know, to be right then and there, or, you know, what's up, give me an answer right now. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't about that, you know? Maybe, maybe, you know, it's a time and place for everything, but, you know, uh, I did kind of, you know, pass up a little opportunity, but it's all good, you know? But things always come my way. Opportunities always come my way, you know, for a reason, you know? So anyways, people, that's going to do it for this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. If you're going to Comic-Con, I'll see you up there. I'll be on the inside and outside, especially on the outside. With that being said, it's been your boy, M. Led. And yeah, man, I can't wait to get this show on the road. Um, C100 with the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens, F1.8 art lens. And I love the way they call it the art lens. And that's why I call myself a video artist. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one that, I need to freaking uh, coin that phrase and really, really, uh, Make sure I tagline that or wherever you have you, wherever you, however you say that or whatever, because I never heard nobody else use that. You know what I'm saying? I heard of a music artist, you know, music artist. I heard of a artist, but I never heard of a video artist. So with that being said, people of YouTube, it's been your boy M. Lee on the films, and I'll be seeing you guys at this year 2019's Comic Con. Today is Wednesday, and I'll be going to preview night. Right now it's three o'clock. I'm hella behind, man. I end up taking a nap and put me way behind schedule, so. I gotta catch up.
Thank <laughs> you.